You look like you've got something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. <laughs> you? Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. So here's my question. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. Story of my life. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is chapter 13. What a intro. So you might be wondering where the heck are we? Take a look at this view. We are on some island where they have a massive industrial complex going on. Let's take a look at these a little closer here. What do we got going on here? Ashley, there you are. And Krauser. All right, so this is going to be a fun episode. Uh, it's also going to be a tough episode. Actually, no, nah, we don't need to hurry. There's literally no time requirement. But uh, as I was saying, uh, yeah, this first part isn't too hard, but then the later part of the episode is definitely challenging, to say the least. But we'll get through it. So, with these laser guns, it's probably obvious, but don't try walking through the lasers <laughs> or you're going to die. Let's just go around for now. And the merchant is right over here. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale. Boom. Stranger. Killer seven. This what is the magnum I want. I've got. Unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. Alright, can I sell? We can sell the cubic device. The lip rogue. I need some square or rectangular shaped gems for that. Dang, I I don't have a lot of money. I guess we're gonna have to hold off on the broken butterfly for now. Treasure map island, sure, why not? Velvet blue. Nah. Well, unfortunately, wait. Oh, you know what? He also has the case upgrade. 64,000. Dude, stop Your talking. I'm trying to think. Do you much good in the grave. Bro, I don't really die that much. Just saying. Dang, I don't have nearly enough money to... Uh... Well, uh, that's all right. We don't need it right now. We'll have a, another checkpoint with the merchant later on in this episode. So by then we'll have enough money to get the case upgrade and the Killer 7 probably. So let's head on up here and flip the switch on this sentry gun turret thing. Which will change its position a little bit. Let us get by. Let's see. There's going to be a lot of enemies up here guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you probably want to go in as stealthy as possible. 
just because as soon as they are alerted to you, uh, a lot more enemies are going to come. Oh, did I miss a treasure? Oh my goodness. See, that's why I look at the map. Let's go back and get it. Something around here. Wait, how come I can't even... Is it above me or what? Maybe it's just above me. Eroded cave epitaph. Expelled by the militant wicked, we find ourselves in exile. Withered is the grass, barren are the trees. We wait in expiation. This isolated island, our purgatory. Yet despair not, brothers and sisters. Our time shall come. Hester Sadler? Dude, it's Lord Sadler. He actually wrote that? Wow. That's actually quite interesting. Was that the treasure? I don't even know. I, I, wait. It's a crate. I didn't even see it. All right, let's get up here. Sick. What we got? Some money. Some more money. Yeah, I don't know where the treasure is, so it must be accessible a different way. Let us move onwards, shall we? I got a lot of frags, but no flashbangs. Um, maybe I should have bought some large resources. Well, we'll be all right. Shotgun might be worth it. Shotgun's always worth it. Who am I kidding? All right, so we want to be careful here. Um, we don't really need to sneak yet, but At the same time, I'm not really worried if we get caught because one of the enemies that comes out is going to drop a nice gem if we kill him. And if you stealth this entire area, he doesn't come out. Though I will say the guy that comes out is quite strong. Dang it, I was too slow switching weapons. Oh, the sniper is our friend. Okay, well, say hello to this guy with a Gatling cannon arm. Well, let's switch that and see what we're dealing with here. Oh, I'm getting sniped. Nah. No snipers. I got a lot of ammo. Oh, sick. Right into the fire. Oh my gosh. More fire? How are you still alive? Okay, that's when I jumped down. Where's the big guy? All right, while he's shooting, let's just hide for a little bit. This is a dead end, unfortunately. I do have a frag, let's use it. Frag out. Oh, that was pretty good. Use some bolts. We got them, we might as well use them. Keep throwing Molotovs, bro, it's actually helping. Oh boy, let's, let's hide. While we're here, let's flip the switch. Come here, buddy. You are making a lot of noise. Oh, I see why. <laughs> I don't even have to waste my ammo on this dummy. You still alive? Oh, hi. Do I know you? Oh, okay. Oh, there goes your arm, buddy. Alexandrite. Oh, hi. 
Ooh, almost got me. So close. Out of the way. Stop throwing those. The party is over. Oh god, is that oh I thought it was dynamite. Oh that was almost into the red laser. I should just save my rifle ammo. We're gonna need it for later. Stop. Pistol ammo is not as big of a deal. I don't want to make the same mistake I made in my first playthrough, which is use the bolt thrower to kill that guy up there because you can't really get up there. All right, now that everybody's dead, we can loot the area a little easier. Let's see. Oh, there's a bolt behind me, I guess, somewhere. Did I waste a bolt? Where is it? Oh, here it is. All right. Cool, cool. Let's head this way. I'm pretty sure we killed everybody. Oh, I forgot. There's an explosive barrel there. Oh, well. Uh, let's just make sure we get all the barrels and stuff in the area because we need all the money we can find. Red herb, I'll take that. Let's combine it with the green herb. We're really good on healing items. Alright, let's go back. Why not? Um, yeah, let's just make sure we explore everywhere. Ooh, handgun ammo and some gunpowder. Yeah, this is the easier part of the level. Like I said, it does get more challenging. Oh, these these stupid spotlights. I'm pretty sure you can shoot them out. I'm wasting a lot of ammo on this. Yet I wasn't going to give up. Yeah, we're going to have to flip this switch. And I believe there was something over here, no? Can't get up there. I thought there was some kind of loot over here. Guess not. Alright, so we can't go up this way. We're going to have to go around very carefully not to go into any red lasers. Like this. You know what? I'm not liking the spotlight. You should shoot this out before you get noticed if you want to go stealth route, but... Stealth route's kind of boring, too. Hey, buddy. Yes, I'm here. Come get me. I saved so much ammo with this weapon. You guys are just absorbing all these hits, aren't you? Oh, you're next, buddy. Oh, you're a big one. I don't mess with that. Not gonna lie, buddy, you surprised me. More handgun ammo, more rifle ammo, but only two. Right in the kneecap, buddy. Maybe it wasn't kneecap, but close enough. I hear somebody. He must be on the other side. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm right here, buddy. Get back to work. Mind your own business. Alright, before we go up the ladder, let's head around here. Because, one, I want my bolts. <coughs> And two, more handgun ammo. Okay. 
I hear this guy giggling up here. Hopefully that burns somebody. Hi, buddy. Bro, you had a better crossbow than me. Wish I could just pick it up. Look at that one. It's sick. I don't know. Do you think mine's better? He, he's got three arrows there, but maybe they're just preloaded. Um, yeah, no more loot up here. Oh, wait. I can see it now. Treasure. So we're on the right level. Interesting. There's no way it's... That's such a weird... Oh, no, it'd be that way. Hmm. Well, let's go around and see if we can find it. Really, buddy? What are you saying? I'm over here. Too slow. You talk too much. Maybe I should have repaired my knife, not gonna lie. But at the time I was thinking, I don't want to spend any money because I'm already broke. I got quite a bit of handgun ammo, not gonna lie. Let's save our knife. Bolts are free. Renewable, reusable. The knife costs money. Though it does save time. Why was he even looking in there? That's so weird. There's a path to the left and a path to the right. Yellow herb. Ooh. Dang, I got two of those max vials. My goodness. We are just really going to be well off if for this video. Let's do flash grenade. We're going to need them. We have so much healing items and ammo and stuff compared to my other save. Oh, that broke a secret path, I think. Oh, yeah. Another golden lynx. We could probably socket that a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's do... Three different colors is actually worth more, even though it looks weird. And we're still looking for two more for that. All right, cool. Well, now we know what the treasure was and why we couldn't like see it. It's because you had to blow open this secret passage. All right, there's some more people out here. Let's. Oh, hi, buddy. Miss me good opportunity to use a frag. I think they got metal shields after all. Nice try. Nice try. Too easy. Oh, no you don't. Stay down. All right. Um, that was easy. A rocket launcher. Oh, nice. Forgot about that guy. Let's hide behind the rocks real quick. He might actually blow up his friends. Dang it. Let's watch out with the rocket, bro. There you go.
We're gonna need our rifle ammo. Let's save it. I can hear you breathing. Show yourself. I'm just looking for loot. Oh, you're up there? Miss me. <laughs> uh, not sure if that's how you're supposed to use that lantern, but whatever. Worked out. Let's go up here, see if there's some more loot. Probably is, and then we'll drop down. Hey, buddies. Dang, that was a little premature. Really, guys? Oh. You can get up this way, eh? Thank you for showing me. Try again. Just die. Oh, I got one more bolt just for you, buddy. Oh, oh my goodness. That's all right, I wanna use some healing items anyway. They put up such a fuss. Wait, wait, wait. There's loot up here. Was it worth it? Mm, <laughs> debatable. <laughs> I got my ammo back. Let's grab our bolt. And we're pretty much done with the uh, beginning part of this chapter. Cool. On to the next section. Ah, all right, so. This is where they're keeping Ashley? Again, you're given the option of either stealthing or fighting these guys. Uh, these guys right here. But as you can see, there's some treasure here. So we want to kill them. But you don't have to. You can, if you want, just go up this way. Go up the stairs. And totally ignore these guys on the right. You might actually want to go up here anyways. Because there's nobody up here. And you can just snipe them and they'll come to you. And as you can see, one dude has a rocket launcher. So we'll take him out first. Oh, that was a collateral. Come on. All right, I don't want to waste any more rifle. You guys are really slow, you know that? Shit. Wow, Body nice shot. Not looking great. I'll shoot you in the legs if that's your only vulnerability. Oh! These guys take a lot of damage. Finally, oh my gosh, I cannot hit anything. It'll be worth it. Another one of you guys? Just gonna use my bolt thrower, I don't wanna waste ammo. Ha, <laughs> he fell down the stairs! Okay. Look at all this loot, guys. It's so worth it. So these doors won't open. Doesn't look like I can get in through here. Need to find another way. We got this emerald, which is highly useful. And if you look back over here by this green forklift, 
somewhere around here. Ah, there he is. Thirteen for thirteen on the Clockwork Castellans. Another elegant crown, which is awesome. But dang, I'm having a tr hard enough trouble socketing this ornate necklace. Man, I really need an Alexandrite or a ruby at this point. Just anything but an emerald. And then, yeah, I need a lot more gems. But it's always good to have another crown. So as you can see, the loot was worth it. And no, this is not even the hard part of the chapter yet. That is coming up. Not really looking forward to it because of how difficult and annoying it's going to be, but it's also one of the most memorable parts of the game. I hear more explosives. Ah, it's upstairs. Well, let us save since there's a station right here. Before we climb up the ladder, let's go up the stairs because I'm pretty sure the beeping we can we can do this and he'll walk right into it. Come on, buddy, you know you want to. <laughs> Your buddy's not so smart, is he? Nice try. Too easy, right? And if we go around here, this is where the ladder would have been anyways. And I believe we got to flip a switch up here. But... Uh, I thought... Ooh, rifle ammo and shotgun shells. We're going to need it. We are going to need it. What we got? How did a bolt get up here? This door that we just unlocked is to a very cursed laboratory. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I thought there was more loot, but maybe it's further on. We gotta drop back down anyway. This is the door. Is it over here? Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. I get like feelings of dread even going through this door. If anybody can like translate the writing, I have no idea what any of that's supposed to say, but. It's also where Ashley's being held. Ashley! Ashley! Unfortunately, on, she's Ashley, unconscious. Shit! Hang in there. Alright, so. This next area. There's a couple enemies, one of which is pretty strong. Probably going to have to shotgun him in the face, but I am running low on handgun ammo. Let's see if I get a crafting bonus. Dang it. Oh, uh, there's going to be another merchant here pretty soon. We'll be able to buy some more resources. So here's the two guys. As you can see, the dude with the hammer is really the one you want to worry about because he can pretty much one shot you on a, on certain attacks. You can also dodge them with right stick. Alright, um, we could just snipe this one in the head. Get the party started. Come and get me, buddy. And this is why I like flashbangs. Mm -hmm. 
Dang it. That was actually okay because I've been wanting an excuse to use one of these. Probably only one or two more of those and I actually have the maximum amount of health you can have. Nice try. All right, where were we? So, there's only one way you can go. And it's not that way. This way is Ashley, but we need a level three key card. Need a key card. And I believe we can open a locker. All right, this next part is gonna suck. This is the end of the episode pretty much when we get Ashley, but if we can get Ashley. Where is the, oh, up there? All right, so the only way we can go is up. Doors jammed. Those other two doors will come later. Get the box. Gunpowder is okay. My knife is almost broken, so I don't really want to use it. Miss me, buddy. Handgun ammo, more handgun ammo. You guys are giving me exactly what I want. Hi, buddy. As much as I want to hit you with the rifle, I'm not going to. Definitely save your rifle. Next. What you gonna do with no arms, buddy? Stay down. Please don't have a parasite head, thank you. Okay, we're making good progress. Ooh, a hand grenade, always useful. Though I'd prefer the heavy grenade. You notice the deeper we go in here, the more it looks like we shouldn't even be here. But we gotta rescue Ashley, so. We gotta find a level three key card somewhere in this mess. Thankfully, the kitchen is actually a safe spot because the merchant is here somewhere. Let's look in the trash. Oh look, a hand grenade. How useful. Don't mind the rats. They're actually friendly. Velvet blue. Miss me. I'll give you props. That was close though. Not even gonna lie, I totally forgot about that dude. Black bass. Man, this place got everything. Ooh. Breaks over, I suppose. Including the merchant. <coughs> All right, well, now can I sell? I can sell a little bit. Welcome. Where would it? Pearl bangle, what velvet blue, it the gold links. <laughs> well, I can at least repair, which you definitely want full body armor and full knife. Dang it, that power. 
I meant repair. That's good work, if I do say so. I don't even care about the power. I kind of wasted money on that. Well, we could buy the uh, Killer 7, which is pretty awesome. No space? What? Why not try your app stocking up while you can? Why, anything else I can help, please. I should have space. Come on. Let's craft uh, rifle ammo. That'll help clear some space. I got like too much. I should have just... Maybe I should just sell this bass. It's taken up so much space in my inventory. Welcome. If we buy the Killer 7, I won't even be able to upgrade it probably. That cash in your pocket or your life. Where are you gonna put this? Right Your there. Pocket? Honestly, this might be the only gun you need. It's a beast, and I think it has a built in laser. I want the case upgrade as well. Dang it. We'll sell these. Thank you. How much is the case upgrade? 64? Well, I definitely need the recipe for magnum ammo Why now. Not? Knowledge is power. Remember. Come. Dang, we're going to have to come back later for the case upgrade, even though I clearly need it. But don't worry, we're going to be taking some damage here shortly, and then I will need to heal, and I'll use the black bass. Anytime. Definitely save, because the hard part has arrived. Oh, chicken eggs. Sick. Thank you. Alright, so... Basically... This area has a new type of enemy. If you've played the original, you know what I'm talking about. It's the regenerators. And... We need a level 2 key card to go in here. And the regenerators are basically invincible. They'll regrow any body part you shoot off like pretty much instantly. And the only way you can kill them is by blowing them into bits with grenades or rockets. Or if you have a special scope that you can put on a weapon, you can see into their organs and shoot three different parasites within their body. Which will then kill them. Oh, let's forget. Let's set that to a quick. Check this gun out, boys. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're gonna save this for special occasions. Magnum ammo is hard to come by. All right, so there's three rooms here: freezer, dis dissection, and then on another level, there's like uh, another room right here. We can't see it yet. Before we can go in the freezer, uh, we need a level 2 key card to go in there, I believe. Or no, level 1, but we don't even have the level 1, so... We're gonna get the key card, then we'll go into the level 1. Okay, you guys may have seen that just walk by there, but... We are definitely not alone here. Alright, before we can do anything, we gotta turn the power on, which I know the f switch is this way. Nothing over here yet. We can hear it, though. Gunpowder. Laboratory notice. Your keycard application has been approved by the head of the department. Please bring your level 1 keycard to the dissection and follow the procedure on the next page. Override card for level 2 is in the freezer. Override card for level 3 is in the incubation lab. Please ask each section supervisor for permission to access the machines. Oh, we'll, we'll ask for permission, alright. Alright, so the power can only power half the station at, the, ha at a time. So once we flip the switch, uh, the other half is going to go dark. But we will be able to get into dissection, which is where the key card is. Let's turn that switch on, which it just showed really fast so that it opens a pathway in between. After we shut the power off, this will become very valuable. 
And pretty soon we're going to see our first regenerator up close. And at this point, we won't have any way to fight it, really. Just be aware of that. Let's go in here, grab... Oh man, we are just running out of space. What else is in here? Red barrel, that's useful. Gunpowder, we can at least take that. The first aid spray, I mean, like I said, we might just come back for this because we're going to get hit. <coughs> That's what we're going to be fighting soon. Alright, uh, let's see. I believe we want to go like that. Like that. And like that. No. No. I know this one's like that. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, so once we get the key card and we try to leave this area, the regenerator is going to attack us. Look at the x ray. Christ. What kind of experiments are they doing here? Not the good kind. Subject analysis. Regenerator. At last, I have created a new life. I call it Regenerator. Its, metaboli its metabolic capacity is incredible. Unless all the parasites residing within the organism are destroyed, its tissue can regenerate indefinitely. Upon examining the body with a biosensor scope, I was able to confirm that the parasites behave like vital organs for the host, almost as though it has multiple hearts. This new creation of mine is essentially immortal. Surely, even Dr. Frankenstein himself would want to shake my hand in admiration. I shared the news of my achievement with that pretentious bastard colleague of mine. His face went white. Then he started scribbling something in his notebook. I, I thought he'd be impressed, but instead he actually had the nerve to warn me of the so-called dangers. He's a fool. I have everything under control. The subject went wild and escaped from its cryogenic tank. I was the real fool. Awesome. Well, at least you wrote it down, buddy. Okay, now the fun really starts. We got the key card. Get ready to blast. Even though we can't kill it! Oh, God! We can slow it down. I don't want to waste too much ammo on it, though. Alright, actually, guys, I need to go to the freezer. And also, there's loot in this room that the regenerator came out of. But to get to the freezer, I have to flip the power again. So, I guess that's where we're going. Man, he is following us. I'm going to try to shotgun his legs off or his arm or something, but... Back off, bro. They are fast, too, by the way. Super fast. Run to the freezer as fast as you can. I don't think he'll come in here. Okay, good. Whew. Um, alright, so before we go anywhere else, like I said, we're gonna take damage, so let's just eat the fish. Don't have a lot of space, but it's better than what we had before. If we can figure this one out, there is a new weapon waiting for us. So this one has to go like that, for sure. This one, yeah, that looks pretty good, to be honest. 
Oh, my bad. The first one is literally opposite. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. There we go. This will give us a new weapon. The LE5. It actually looks like an MP5, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, we do not have space. Let's craft uh, some more attachable mines, actually. We're going to probably need them. Oh, that didn't help because now I have one extra frick. Well, we can use the attachable mine here, actually. Hold on. Um, because one of these bags is going to drop a another dude. And I think it's this bag. So let's just put that right there. Okay. Oh, it, it instantly went off. That's not good. I really hope that didn't wake up the dude early. Because we still have to scan our key card. Um, all right, you know what? We're going to have to not worry about this right now. Oh, it woke him up early. Awesome. All right, well, let's get the key card going. It's going to take a minute. And we're just going to have to run around and try not to die. Uh, buddy, please don't kill me. I don't want to waste a lot of ammo on you, bro. Come on in here. It should be done any moment. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Bro, I'm pressing A. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Woo, bye bye. Oh, and by the way, there's still another one out here. Don't forget about him. Oh my gosh. Where's the map? We left the weapon, but honestly, I like ran out of space. Uh, we're going to have to come back for it. We don't really need it right now anyways. I am interested in that treasure though. But at this point, uh, we got our key card to level two. So now we just need to go unlock that door. And if we have to... We can run to the merchant and the merchant is right here. He's actually a safe spot. Let's use that. I don't think they'll come in here either, but I could be wrong. Okay, you think uh, we're safe and everything? No, no. Not even close. Well, apparently shooting the mine at the uh, bag was a little bit too good of an idea. <laughs> I did not expect it to blow up instantly. Buddy, where you at? I know you're walking around down there. Oh, I parried. Come on. Oh, wow. Well, I have a lot of pistol ammo, so I'm going to use it. That guy died kind of fast. What do we got here? Yellow herb. That's actually very useful. Boom, another super potion. My goodness. I hear a lantern. Meh. Alright, I think we got everything in this little area. Let's continue on. Okay, this part is actually a really tough part. Let's grab the rifle ammo. There's going to be a lot of ammo that it's going to give us, though, to deal with this part. As you can see, we need level 3 key card. So, as you can see, um, there's not one, not two. Not three, but four regenerators. And if you're not careful, you can find yourself fighting all four at once. And if you 
want to die, that's a fast way to do it. Green herb, rifle ammo. If you don't want to fight them all at once, follow my advice. <coughs> We're going to keep the submachine gun ammo because it actually is what the uh, TM5 uses. I am so full on this. Um, let's just eat the fish. I love how the egg heals you for a lot, but it only takes up one spot. Alright, so uh, grab all the loot for sure. Before we do anything else. And then back in this room. Now we have a lot of ammo, right? No flash grenades still? I should get more heavy resources at the merchant. We're going to go back to the merchant after this. And we should have the gems and stuff to upgrade our case after that. So, because we're going to kill all these regenerators. And the, re to get this open. the regenerators drop nice gems. You don't have to kill them, but... Escape, escaped test subject. During a recent power outage, a test subject awoke from cryogenic stasis, broke out of its holding tank, and escaped. Subject was contained after 20 hours, leaving 7 dead, 19 wounded. We were able to... Unable to recover one of the bodies and a tool from inside of it. Cause of the unfortunate incident is the unstable power supply. Outdated generators cannot keep up with our demanding schedule. Management must prioritize the needs of the engineers over those of the researchers to, to prevent something like this ever happening again. Biosensor scope. Which, again, takes inventory space. Flippin' heck, dude, I got... Can I craft something? My goodness, I can't even craft anything. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna... I, d I don't really need the bolt thrower in this fight. Though it would save me ammo, I do have like a lot of ammo. I don't know, I might use the bolt thrower. Two shots with the Magnum. You know what? As crazy as it might be, I'm just gonna... Drop the herb. So that I can have the scope. Because I got a lot of healing items already. Alright, the scope is really nice. Uh, you can attach it to the Stingray or the LM5 or pretty much any rifle or anything that'll take the scope. And then it will allow you to see inside these people. Look at that. It only zooms twice, but see his three little organs? Now we can kill these guys. And this one right here... I believe it was this one. Nah. Maybe it's not that one. One of these has the wrench. Which one is it? Oh, I could, like, hit all three of those at once, which would be really nice. See how they're all in a different spot? Alright, so this one's got the wrench. Let's see if I can hit two of the Pelagos with one shot. Maybe from the other side. Not really, but I'm gonna try. Maybe the other angle was better. Yeah, this is maybe a little bit better. Luckily, the other ones won't wake up. And as you can see, hitting them in those Hitting them in those uh, Plagas areas is highly effective. And I've been saving rifle ammo just for this occasion. Now, of course, as soon as we flip this switch, a ton of enemies are going to come pouring in. The, the regenerators don't wake up, but the enemies start pouring in and throwing dynamite. And the dynamite will wake them up. So I'm going to spam grenades on the dynamite people. Or just shoot them as fast as I can, hoping that they don't blow up the regenerators. Because it's much easier to kill the regenerators ourselves. Let's use the wrench. We don't want to fight the regenerators with all the other enemies, though. If we have to, we'll do what we got to do. 
This is to get the level three key card. Here we go, baby. That was pretty good. I think we got both of them. Probably better to fight them in here, to be honest. That way they won't blow up the regenerators. Come over here, guys. This is going so much better than on my other playthrough. My other playthrough, I tried to do this. I wasn't as lucky at blowing up the uh, dynamite people. And they ended up uh, waking up all the regenerators, all three of them. And I thought all three regenerators and all those guys at the same time in this big room and I wasted like all of my ammo I saved so I wasted all my grenades all my ammo like everything killing them all I don't know why but it, it went terribly this time it went so much better now let's see if we can kill these guys Not so hard one on one, but when you get a lot of them going on you, it's really overwhelming. I can almost hit all three organs. Not quite. If you put the biosensor scope on the TMP, you can see the organs and shoot them. But the rifle has so much piercing that it's just a lot easier in my opinion. And that's how you get all these gems. Like I said, we're going to be rich now. And now we can go kill those other two regenerators. And we can go to the merchant and we can sock it. Oh baby, this is going to sell for so much. 51k? Okay, well, not as much as I was hoping, but still. Alright, the crown. Let's start putting some gems into this bad boy. My bad. We should probably get our key card, right? Did, we, did I even pick up the finished key card? I don't remember. That would probably help, right? To get Ashley. And check it out. Do, 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 do. Our first level three door unlock is actually a shortcut back, I think. Plus some more loot. They're probably assuming you had to use a lot of bullets in the last fight. Yep, here's one of those doors I said we would open. And we can rescue Ashley at this point, but like I said, I actually want to go back to the merchant and I want to kill those other two regenerators. So we're going to do that. We're going to pick up the M L LM5 and uh, I'll show you what that, show you guys what that is like. Probably didn't need to go this way, but whatever. It works. I wanted to unlock the shortcut anyways. Which we did. Okay, stranger. Oh, breaks over. Welcome. Where would it? What Let's can sell I the wrench, for? the ornate necklace, the root No, we're not selling that. Ruby's all rubbish, she makes no difference. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Let's repair the body armor Good and the knife. You, 
And the Killer 7. Now, that is something I would like to upgrade. It's very expensive, though. Ammo capacity would probably be good, and you rate of fire. Nah, rate of fire is of cheap. Is about finesse, Little bit goes a long oh, way. I almost forgot. Yes. Case upgrade. Bigger is better, as they say. Can't forget that. Now we have the largest case I think you can get. Pretty sick. Um, flash grenade. I don't know why, but I barely have any of those right now. We have 10 attachable mines, guys. This is ridiculous. Um, that being said, we're going to have to make room for the, uh, the new weapon. Let's just use this because it'll increase our max health to max. Let's go kill the other regenerators. Hi. I find it best to take your time and really line up the shots because otherwise you end up wasting a lot of rifle ammo. Half the time, even when I hit the shot, it, it oh, okay, hi. It still doesn't work. Look at that. I'm terrible all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Well, now I can use some more healing items. Killing these guys is worth it though. Bro, stop flopping around. Okay, well now, now we can walk these halls without worrying about being harassed by those people. Let's go get the LE5 and then we'll flip the, s the power switch and get the other stuff. Don't wanna leave any good items behind. Now that those guys are dead. My goodness, that takes up a lot of room, but we got it, baby. Now, like I said, you can equip, I'm gonna put this back on the Stingray we can put this on the LE5. I don't know if the LE5 is like better than the TMP that you get earlier in the game. But it certainly looks better. Um, so let's register. Dang, I don't have like any f extra spots. I'm carrying too many weapons basically. I'll sw swap it out for the uh, mine thrower just so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, look at the scope. And here's what it sounds like. Oh, never mind. I actually gotta zoom in. I guess I was gonna try hip firing. Ooh. That was pretty nice, right? That shot five bullets right there. Alright, and then uh, we gotta go flip the switch. This place is still creepy, even knowing that I took out all threats. You never know if another one's going to pop up, really. You d I mean, I know they, they won't, but at the same time, it feels like they will. Alright, so now we can go in the room where this guy came from. Pretty creepy in here, but I'm assuming there's loot. Oh, gold ingot. Ooh, that was worth it. My goodness. And like I said a long time ago when we were having to leave this first aid behind, we're going to come back for it. And now we fully looted the area and we can go to Ashley's cell. Hopefully uh, she didn't get moved in the time I wanted to go get this loot, you know what I mean? Well, I was going to say we might as well save Hello, since we're stranger. here. But honestly, the end of the level is very ah. close. Let's just go this way because it's faster. Oh my gosh, I have to restore the power again. Annoying. Not that big of a deal though. I just hate coming through this area.
If you're a little kid, this is kind of area that would give you nightmares. Shit, even if you're an adult. Alright, uh, this is the right way. Man, I didn't even get to use my Killer 7, but I didn't want to waste it at the same time on regenerators because I couldn't even see their, you know, parasites, and I can't mount the biosensor scope on the Killer 7, unfortunately. Alright, Ashley. I hope you're still in the cell sleeping because I'm about to bust you out. Uh, where is she? Uh, here we go. Ashley. She does not look good. Shit. Give her that suppressant, which means I probably don't have any more. That works fast. You're going to be okay. Ooh, what about me? Unfortunately, the uh, suppressor wears off all too soon. Right, Luis? <sighs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the chapter. It was pretty fun, even though it was uh, kind of a creepy one. Uh, just over an hour, but zero deaths, 80% accuracy, not bad. Only 10 times damage. That could be a tough one if you don't know what to expect. So I hope if you watch my video, hopefully it helped you if you play through it. But anyways, thank you for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And as always, I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.